YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie. Welcome back to my Phasmophobia Complete Equipment Guide series. We are moving on down the list in today's episode covering the EMF reader. You might want to get a little bit of a pen and paper out with this one because there's a couple things you got to know, but we're still covering all the tiers, all the ghosts associated with that piece of equipment and uh, some tips and tricks you got to know about it. All right. So enough pitter patter chitter chatter. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so we're on Willow Street. We're playing on professional difficulty. That's going to be the recurring theme of this series. So this will probably be the last time I tell you guys that. So if you catch, if you jump in on the later part of the series, then that's on you, buddy. I better not hear anything about what difficulty you're playing on. Anyways, the EMF reader, all right? It is used to detect paranormal activity, okay? So when you have it in your hand, right click, just like with the dots projector, have it in your hand, right click to turn it on, and you immediately have EMF level one. EMF level one doesn't mean anything, it's just the meter is on, okay? Then you have EMF level two, okay? Out of, out of five total levels. EMF level two indicates an interaction. That is anything that the ghost touches, okay? So a keyboard, a piano, a light switch, a door, a TV remote, um, anything that causes some sort of like movement that's not a throw, like a dirty water or something like that. That is an interaction, okay? Uh, and that is EMF level two. That's a good way to indicate if that you're in the ghost area, okay? Now, EMF level three is a throw. So if the ghost, wherever it is in this, in this contract, um, if the ghost throws a book, a picture, anything that is, that you can like pick up, then it is going to give you EMF level three. Um, EMF level four indicates a ghost event. It just flickered the lights in here. So this may be the, can you give me a sign? I'm going to try to show you guys. Uh, this in action, but uh, we have the bone don't really care about that, but EMF level 4 indicates an a ghost event and a ghost event is anytime the ghost manifests itself like shows itself or does an airball uh, Ghost event where the lights go out and you see a puff of mist coming towards you and you hear a big <sighs> noise, right? And then and then it drops your sanity, okay? And then obviously EMF level 5 is gonna be your evidence now if you are playing on higher difficulty settings where you don't get all three evidences like nightmare and insanity then you can still use the okay well that was just rude you can still use the emf reader um to locate where the ghost is so the ghost touched the breaker and now we have emf level two now this is the tier one obviously and it's very stinky but it's what you got for a little bit okay um so i'm gonna go get the tier two here in just a moment and cover all the ghosts associated with but if you have a higher difficulty setting on where you get less than two less than three evidences the emf reader is still useful because you can still find the ghost area uh or even the ghost room okay so yeah so let's go grab the tier two now because it is much better than the tier one by just a little bit okay Alrighty, Rue. While we find the breaker, uh, I, I mentioned in the dots projector episode that with the dots, specifically the tier one, it's a good rule of thumb to bring in two. The EMF reader, you just need one of. So don't don't worry about spending your money or potentially losing money on having an extra EMF reader. So this is the tier two. Uh, while we pull up uh, the breaker location here and uh, turn on the power. Uh, I will tell you about it. So it's got a two meter detection radius and the accuracy is obviously higher. Now, uh, what I like about the tier two is it is, uh, it's very user friendly because with the tier one, I have a hard time differentiating between uh, the levels of EMF. Whereas the tier two, as you can see, it, the ghost threw something somewhere, but oh, it, it moved this book, okay. And it turned off the breaker again. Jesus Christ, dude. This guy's so freaking annoying. But yeah, so that's a, a key evidence right there. We got EMF 3. It just touched the door. I think it was this one. And then it just threw that. So we have EMF 2. So yeah, as you can see, the ghost is going crazy. This is probably going to be a very aggressive ghost, especially since it's doing shit as soon as I walk in. But I'm going to turn the breaker back on so you guys aren't in the dark. Because uh, on a, several of my videos, you guys have said that it's kind of hard to see. But anyways... Same thing, but like in my other videos, uh, let's talk about the ghosts that need EMF level five. All ghosts will give you up to EMF level four. The ghosts that give you EMF level five evidence are these ghosts right here, okay? There's no ghost that has forced EMF level five, like with the dots episode, the Gorio will have forced dots, but the uh, these are the ghosts that will give you EMF level five, okay? So that is how that goes. Now, 
We're going to move on to the tier 3 EMF, and from what I've seen from a lot of new players, when they do get the tier 3, or maybe they don't have an unlock, maybe their buddy does, they're really confused about the, the tier 3 EMF. So hopefully, whenever we cover it, uh, you'll have a better understanding. So let's go get that now. Okie dokie, so we are back, and now we have the tier 3 not in our hands quite yet, but um, one of the things that I liked about the Eventide update is they changed some stuff with the with the tier three but first i want to explain it uh well actually okay so one of the, the thing that they changed with the tier three emf is the emf level five sound has a very distinct sound to it so you are no longer confused if it's a emf4 or an emf5 with the tier three now as you can see the the tier three is much better uh, because it's much bigger. The detection radius is three and a half meters, okay? It's very accurate, and you'll see why here in a second. So, I don't know if you can really see it, but if you look closely, there's three... It's it's divided into thirds, the screen is. And that is because you can get, with the Tier 3 EMF, you can get up to three EMF readings at once. But it doesn't stop there, okay? Let's try to get the ghost to give us a sign here. Can you give me a sign? Hello? Ghosty? Ghosty Pants, hello. You a bitch. You're not a bitch, Mr. Ghost. Please, give me a sign. Jesus Christ, there's people waiting, dude. Time is money. Help. Thank God, dude. I've literally been sitting here for 10 minutes. Okay, so let me explain this before this goes away. We have an EMF level 2 because the light just turned out. And the ghost is now starting to get active. So as you can see, we got two EMF readings at once. Uh, if you look at the screen, the arrow points in the direction of the uh, interaction or whatever. Um, and then the numbers will tell you the distance at which you are from that specific point. And then obviously the bars at the top indicate the EMF level, okay? So hopefully that clears it up, it clears up the confusion. And even if you don't have the EMF level or tier three unlocked, you can, uh, when you do unlock it or you use your friends who are higher, who's a higher level and they do have the tier three, uh, you won't be as confused and maybe you can even show off to your friends. So if you are a low level player, this is all you got to know about the EMF. If you are a low level player and you want to figure out how to level up as fast as you can so that you can get the nice shiny tier three EMF, you can check out this video right here. And, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.